I think it's the real symbol of what Times Square was all about. It's more than a clock, it's a beacon. The famous Times Square clock on Fort Myers Beach is gone. Hurricane Ian destroyed the staple that has served as a backdrop for so many family photos. As NBC2's Gage Golding reports, there's already a push to bring it back. In a place where time seemingly never even mattered, that clock always watched over us. It was an icon, a staple of Southwest Florida. Now, just like many of our favorite bars, shops, and restaurants, we can only find a little piece that will take us back to the good times. It's devastating. I, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Take a walk through Times Square. The once lively community center is now the epicenter of our worst disaster. You see things on television, you see pictures, see things on the internet. Until you see it in person, you can't imagine what the, the scope of devastation is really like. You used to be able to look up and see the clock. Now to see what remains, you have to look down. This concrete base is all that's left. This is just absolutely unbelievable. This clock has been through hell and back, literally. When plans were announced to revamp Times Square and replace the clock back in 2020, this beach town went berserk. Let it be known throughout the town that the, uh, the clock is going to stay. And when it broke down earlier this year, the town wasted no time to fix it. It's more than a clock, it's a beacon. This was our Fort Myers Beach southernmost point, if you will. It's exactly why the company that made the clock wants to help replace it. Verdon said online they're looking forward to helping replace the Times Square clock and to restore the sense of spirit it brings to the beach. That would be a great boon to local spirit to have that rebuilt. Maybe that's when we'll know that Fort Myers Beach is back, when, when, they're, when the clock is back. Tonight the town says they still haven't found the clock, and there's a chance they never will. But will they build it back? Well... That's a question only time will tell. Reporting on Fort Myers Speech, Gage Golding, NBC2.